Open season in Pennsylvania is starting earlier than anyone expected. Tomorrow, everyone will be eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. We're bringing you Team 11 coverage at 6 from the impact this could have on your summer plans to when we could no longer be required to wear face masks. Good evening. I'm Ryan Houston and I'm Lisa Sylvester. You know, signing up is one thing, but actually being able to get the shot is another. And we have seen just how hard it can be to make an appointment. Our Michelle Newell kicks off our Team 11 coverage at six and she's live to break down the governor's announcement and the push to get the vaccine into minority communities. Michelle. Well, the governor, the governor's announcement has a lot to do with the increase we're seeing in vaccine supply. And here in the Hill District, shots are getting into the arms of people who don't have easy access to the vaccine. It took a while before Calvin Miller could face this day. I was hesitant at first. I was debating. As the months passed, Miller's feelings about the COVID-19 vaccine began to change. So I didn't really hear nothing really too bad out of all the people who took it. So I said, well, let me go ahead and get the vaccine shot. Before Miller got here, he said a prayer. You know, I prayed first uh, while I was in the shower this morning. I prayed in the shower. I prayed on the way here, so I'm okay with it now. He was first in line, and now he is the first in his entire family to get the shot. I thought maybe if I take the shot, I maybe convince my brother or some other friends to go ahead and get it too. You know, because this, this is for real. It's all over the world. The location of this vaccine clinic is in a place where access to it hasn't always been easy. We are very concerned that being in this community, that a lot of the residents here are not being served properly. Some of the residents, we've received complaints that they're getting scheduled outside of their own neighborhood. That's why Central Baptist Church in the Hill District partnered with the Allegheny County Health Department and Duquesne University to make this clinic a reality. This clinic is open Monday through Saturday. If anyone locally needs a ride, we can pick them up. And now that Governor Wolf has expanded eligibility, church leaders are expecting even more people to come out. I'm really thrilled. Right now, I do know that we are allotted about 200 vac vaccines a day. So we are doing whatever we can. And the state of Pennsylvania is receiving 290,000 vaccine doses from the federal government this week. Governor Wolf and community groups also just launched a COVID-19 vaccine mobile unit for underserved communities. And they'll also educate those communities, people who have concerns about the vaccine. Reporting live from the Hill District, Michelle Newell, Channel 11 News.